So while the Pete's Basement Pizza is in the oven getting ready. So Pete's Basement Pizza is the official pizza of Pizza Month on Pete's Basement. It's a mouthful. So now we have fresh mozzarella, we got regular sauce, we got the grandma sauce with the crushed tomatoes, we got meatball, pecker, uh, the, 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 yeah, well, the, the construction of the pie, you know, we didn't want to, uh, you know, we definitely didn't want to be like run the risk of being like, you know, look like we were like cooking a vegan pizza. So, you know, the way you designed it and, you know, the clever idea you had there. Uh, well, now that's not permanent. That was just for the fun of it. We made the Greenpoint gas tanks on the pizza pie, which was fun. But, you know, in the future, we could just dress the pie well, you know, the way it should be. Thanks. You know, they, they deserve their due, you know. So that's a great thing right there. But, you know, we didn't want to, like I said, we didn't want to look like we was vegans. So, you know, we filled in those uh, spots where there was no cheese. Would, of course, our handmade meatballs. Because it's only right, you know. And, uh, you know, we, uh, we put a seeded crust on that. And because, uh, you know, seeded crust is just where it's at. Huh? You know, I, I think it's amazing. And, uh, you know, dusted that with the little Pecorino Romano cheese. And, um, you know, that's, that pie is going to taste. That's going to be something there. You know, you, got, you, 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 you have something on your hands there, Pete. You know what I mean? As, as far as that goes, you know, that's like, uh, that's like Superman 1, you know, right there of, of, of uh, pizzas today. I think that's one of my favorite new pizzas that come out of that oven. But, um, you know, so talk to me a little bit about... You know, uh, Pete's Basement in the six years. Like, you know, you know, I've been here five years now almost, and, you know, it's been a hell of a ride. So what's it been like for you all these years, you know, actually putting something out there, some decent content on the web that's, you know, actually, uh, you, know, you, you, you know, I mean, you, you guys, you, know, you hit the nail on the head. I'm not going to mention and give uh, credence to any of these other, you know, fakers that go out there and do what they do because, you know, I was all, I was all insulted, you know, putting the TV on one day and seeing a knockoff show a knockoff brand of what you do, you know, on uh, one of those dopey channels, TLC, whatever, you know what I mean? A bunch of these, you know, dreadools, they're running, running around, you know, doing what you do, but doing it, like, not as good. So, I, I'm a little disgusted with that. You know, tell me about six years, though, of, of, you know, producing something like this. I mean, what's it like? I love being interviewed in my own interview. This is fantastic. <laughs> this is a first. I love it. This is a day of first. Book of style, Pete. Book of style. <laughs> you know, I think one of the best things about the show is giving people – you know, a chance to be able to reach out and just be friends with all of us. You know, as we get older, as I didn't sign up for this shit, neither did you, but somehow it happened to us. You know, we lose that aspect of being in school and being able to talk comics with our friends and whatever, and, you know, being into, be able to see these people on a regular basis. So what the Pete's Basement Show is all about is giving somebody a chance to reach out and be able to have those friends again to talk to and a place to interact on Facebook, on the website itself, and just be able to talk shop in, a, in an environment that is not, as you said, there's these other fakers out there that you just, you know, you, there's not as much respect that as we get on the Pete's Basement Show because the Pete's Basement Show is centered around being real, being from Brooklyn and just talking shop, talking real. Like there's no corporate attitude there's no you know there's no je ne sais quoi or whatever the frig it is we're just we're just real people you know it is how it is we're going to talk how we talk and if you don't like it well say you don't like it and maybe i'll respect your opinion and maybe i won't but i respect you for at least telling right. your opinion you know the police basement show is a place for dissenting opinions you can have one just be intelligent about it don't be you know a jerk off What's, what's that, that, you know, what's that world like? I mean, I never was into, like, you know, obviously, like, you know, I'm, I, I you know, I, I know, like, there's, it's, it's, a, it's a big, big business, comic book business, you know, and it, it has been a big business for a long time. Now, even more so with the comic cons and all this other stuff going on, and I always get a little carried away with some of these conventions, you know, it gets nuts, you know, but, hey, you know, but, I mean, as a business, as a business, uh, you know, it's one thing, but I mean, as somebody who has a passion for it, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm happy to see that you really do what you do, and you do have provide an outlet to people because you know, comic books, you know, it's it's an art form. It's an I think it's a uh, an American art form. I mean, you know, listen, there was cave paintings back in the day, and there was things like that. You know, that there was always some sort of storytelling pictographically you know so if that's even a word pictographically i don't know but you know we we'll make that shit up right now they just put some stupid words in the dictionary they put selfie in the dictionary we can get pictographical pictographically, you know i mean uh 
you know, there's always been some kind of uh, storytelling apparatus out there, whether it was, like I said, a cave wall or a papyrus paper or, you know, uh, you know when, when Gutenberg invented the, uh, the printing press, you know, uh, that, that was, I guess, the start for us, right? You know, in the comic book world there. But, you know, I, I, always, I do remember growing up, and some of my fondest memories were, you know, reading some of the comic books that I would buy. You know, and even though I wasn't into it like that, you know, like where I didn't collect, I was never a collector of anything. I guess I just was too brutish on everything, you know. I, I didn't have, like, the respect for it. You know, my, my baseball cards or whatever it was, you know, I destroyed it. Or I sold it or I traded it or, I, you know, something happened to it bad, you know. And, uh, you know, but, I, you know, some of my fondest childhood memories, though, are reading them Spider-Mans and reading them Supermans and, you know, reading them Dick Tracys, you know. So it's like, you know, for me, you know, as, as an art form, I, I think it's, it's, it's a real American art form. It's, I'm glad you brought that up, actually, because it, it's not always even about reading the comic books. You know, I wasn't reading comic books when I was a kid. I was watching cartoons, and we grew up with the same cartoons in the 80s. We had Spider-Man and his amazing friends, the Incredible Hulk, and all of these different things that just kind of propelled me into that world. It is absolutely an American art form. So these older books, the, these characters that have been around for 75 years, our grandmothers, our parents' age, these are characters that demand your respect purely because of their longevity. This is absolutely an American art form. It's American history to me. You look at some of these old World War II covers, and I know you love history and stuff like that. You got pictures of Captain America beating Nazis down. You got pictures of Superman walking with soldiers. You know, back in the day, they had the right idea. They had that that impact on society, and they were made to. It was propaganda then, but to look back on it now, and the fact that we, you know, we kicked their ass in World War II, it is what it is. Um, Captain America, man, right? It, it, how how much did in, 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 in the foxholes? What were they reading? You know what I mean? You know, were, it inspired them, right? absolutely. That's you know one thing I wanted to say to you, and I, I've been meaning to actually call you as just a, on a friend note, like you know, and ask you this. I was wondering if either you or somebody you know, or if there's a movement out there already that exists that that uh, you know we, we can lampoon perhaps current day American society. Um, you know, almost like, you know, Captain America kicking the shit out of leftist progressives in America who are destroying this country from within like a cancer. You know, is there anything out there on the, on the drawing boards or anything out there that, you know, you would say that, uh, you know, possibly is in the works or could be done or can be done or will be done that, uh, you know, somehow harkens to that, like, you know, a real American hero, you know, kind of like, you know, trying to take back the reins from, you know, this, this collectivist group think, you know, psychopaths that run this country today. I mean, uh, New World Order style thing. Like, is there is there a comic book character out there? Is he waiting to be made? I think he's actually waiting to be made, man. See, they, 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 they have a lot of issues with Captain America where he struggles against, you know, fighting for the people running this country. Not so much he loves his country, but the people running it he understands are fucked up. Industrial complex, in other words, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, what I was thinking more along the lines is like, you know, uh, you know, I, I think that there's a real need out there for a platform for that. Not, that they, I think it would inspire not only you know, uh, you know, people to buy comic books, but I think it would also you know help people wrap their head around what's happening to this country and how it's disintegrating. It's very something very near and dear to my heart. And I just had this notion that in my mind that you know, hey man, you know, we we need a, we need a hero, man. You know, we need somebody to help us. You know, I mean, we need something for the kids. We need something for the adults. We need something that's universal, you know, that kind of, like, lets people know that, hey, man, it wasn't always like this, and that, uh, you know, rugged individualism is not dead. And, and you know, I mean, my, I'll be honest with you, too. I'm not a collector, and I'm not like that, but, you know, when Superman uh, dropped uh, True Justice in the American way, I was a little more disgusted than it, you know. I mean, I don't know if you're, uh, is it, that was, uh, you know, a big deal, like, when, when the movie came out, you know, like, no more true justice in the American way. Like, I mean, so they're, they're, they're eating away at our substance on a regular basis. And, you know, now they even, you know, they're using comic books on the other side to do so. And I've seen that in some of the books I've read, you know, over the past few years, you know. And so I really hope that there's something out there. And it's my hope that you got maybe, you know, maybe I'm talking to the artist of that revolutionary character right now. And I hope I am. But, uh, you know, I hope that your viewers get to see this and know that, you know, I, you know if they're of like mind, you know, start a chat, you know, start a, start a message board, start something up, you know, where we can actually, you know, kick this idea down the road a little bit and see what goes on with it, you know? Maybe we should call him Pizza Man or the Pizza Guy because you know, pizza is a, a, an American thing. You know, it's the Italian-American dream, you know? It's, uh, you know, here we are. But, you know, 
whatever it may be, if he's if he's slinging pizza cutters and uh, you know doing his dirty work with that, or you know whatever it may be, you know, I just uh, you know that's my wish for the future. You know, is that we find a we find a hero that could uh, you know help us make sense of what's going on out there. So I'm putting that out there to all your viewers. I know you got a lot of people viewing your 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 page and and, and watching the show. So you know, if anybody's of like mind, you know, here's what I'm saying, man. Let's get on that. Let's get on that. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> we'll cool this until we peel the pizza. All right, so now I'm going to make.